All these headless models, they have heads. On these stands. Ah, fresh heads. Oh no, I'm sure it will take me a whole week to paint these heads. Or will it? On this one head sample, I will show you how you can paint these heads fast, effective and good looking. This process consists of three layers sprayed with airbrush and then the rest of the details are painted with brush. For the first layer I'm using a one-to-one -one mix of snot green and Avedon black. You can just spray this layer all over the head like a base coat. This is how the head looks after the first layer is sprayed. The second layer is done with just pure green color. Spray this layer in a circular motion like this, mostly from the top. Don't go all the way down here to these lower angles, because you will destroy all the dark areas. Imagine the head sits on top of the cone, so you don't want to surpass the boundaries of this cone when spraying this layer. So, this is the head after the second layer is finished. As you can see, it's already a little brighter from the top. The final layer consists of one-to-one -one mix of snot green and white. I'm using uh, skull white. You want to spray this layer from the very top, don't go into any angles here. This is how it looks after the final layer. And here is the comparison of all the steps. There are no tricks, to this next stage you're just going to have to use a brush. I'm starting with his eyes and teeth, I'm using Ushapti bone for that, and then I'm washing his mouth with Rayclan flesh shade. Then I'm washing eye sockets with Ruchi Violet. Next, I'm painting Armored Neck with Lead Belcher and washing it with Agrax Earthshade. And for the cable, I'm using Averland Sunset. I am also using Rayclan Flesh Shade to wash his forehead, warts, ear area, and veins. This is how the head looks when it's finished with all the details painted. Now the biggest advantage of this technique is uh, when doing multiple heads. It saves great amounts of time, you mix the paint only once, so you get the same tone on every head, and I personally like it more when it's done with airbrush uh, as opposed to with the brush. It leaves you with uh, nice natural shadows, and dark areas and also really smooth transitions. As you can see here, the process is basically the same as when doing one head, you just need to stick uh, all the heads to some kind of stand and I'm using white tech for that. A lot of you probably won't be making green heads, so if I were to make a flesh tone head, I would probably start with something like Mornfang Brown for the first layer, then go with a Ratskin Flesh, then with Kislev Flesh, and maybe I would add fourth layer with a mix of Kislev Flesh and White. Basically, the process is the same no matter what color you choose. You start with a darker color, and as you work your way through the layers, you just lighten the colors and also uh, decrease the angle at which the next layer is sprayed. So you won't destroy all the dark areas that you made with the previous layers. So, all in all, I made all these heads in 7 hours, let's say, but uh, the shading itself was like 10% of that time, 
because the rest of that was all the details that had to be painted with brush. All these cables, uh, scarves, goggles and sunglasses they all have. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial and if you're interested in more painting tutorials you can check out our channel. Thank you for watching.